SCA1 uh, worksheet number three. This is still very much in the basic forming of this idea of what probability is and how it works. The probability in its formal sense is um, kind of often written in its fractional form. Uh, the denominator is the total number of outcomes. This is the total size of your sample space. If you're talking about uh, a 30-sided dice, then uh, 30 is the magical number down there. If you're talking about a deck of cards, you're talking about 52. If you're talking about a bag of marbles that has 10 marbles in it, your, your number is 10. So this represents the total number of things that could happen. Up here we have uh, our total successes. Now that can change. We might be uh, in the bag of marbles looking for the white marble and then I would need to know how many are in there of the group. Um, if I'm rolling this dice I might be trying to find the numbers that are smaller than 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I would like to know that would be the number of uh, successes. I would, I would count those up. If I'm looking at uh, a deck of cards, I might say uh, my successes might be getting a four. And there are four of those in the deck, so it would be four out of the 52. So a probability is always set up in this arrangement, uh, success over total outcomes. Now this, this creates um, a range of possible values for a probability. Your lowest value, your lowest, is a zero uh, chance of it happening. And the highest value is a one. This is uh, a certain event. So this is certain to happen. And this is impossible to happen. Impossible. So, for instance, if I had 10 marbles in the bag, actually, you know what, let's, let's change this. Let's say I have six marbles in the bag, and uh, all of the marbles that I'm picking up are all white. <laughs> and they go, ooh, what's the chances of getting a white? Well, that's not very exciting. It's certain to happen, as long as I get one. <laughs> Uh, is 6 out of 6. It's certain to happen. A 1, in other words, 6 divided by 6. Now in that same example, I might say, ooh, what's the chances of getting a black one in here? Never, right? Impossible to happen. Uh, a 0. Now, um, at the midway point, let's say I pull out, let's take my 6 out of there. And uh, I'm going to put in three black, you can't see it very well, three black and three white. And now I say, ooh, what's the chances of getting a black? Ah, it's three out of the six. But what's the chances of getting a white? Ah, uh, three out of six. We call that equally likely, equally likely to happen. Right there at, you know the percentage of half, right? 0.5, 50% chance. Now these often get converted to percentages, 0%, 100%, 50%, but as a decimal it ranges from 0 to 1. Now let's do some more changing. Let's drop two more, uh, let's see, we got six in here, so let's drop two more whites in. That upgrades us to a total of eight here. Now, what's the chances of getting, what was it, three and three? So, uh, there are three blacks in here. Three out of eight is unlikely to happen. It's somewhere right in here, right? It's unlikely to happen. So why do you get the term unlikely? Because you are smaller than 50%. Now, ooh, what's the chances of getting a white? Well, there are now five of them in there, and five of them move it up to what we call is likely to happen. It's likely to happen. So there are five terms. Here they are. 
impossible, can't happen, 0% chance or 0 as a decimal. Unlikely is between the 0 and the 50 in that range. Unlikely, less than 50% chance of it happening. L equally likely, right, matched it at 50-50, like a flip of a coin. Likely means that, that it, is, it is greater than 50%, greater than half, 0.5. And certain means it's going to happen automatically. All right, and so this is uh, some of the relationships that we find here. Let me just see here. So, um, for instance, let me just go to my deck of cards real quickly. Uh, in a deck of cards, uh, let's let's make up some chances of things happening. Let's do something that is equally likely. Getting a red card. Half of the deck is red equally likely. What's something unlikely to happen? Getting an ace. An ace is only 4 out of 52. That's an unlikely thing to happen. What's the chances of getting a red card or um, a black face card? Now, or adds more to it. So red cards were 26. Uh, black face cards, there are six of those. So in total, I have more than half of the deck that's good to go. So uh, what did we say? So the, the red cards were 26 in here, and the black face cards are six. Um, and so we have uh, 32 out of the 52. That's a likely thing to happen. How about something that's certain? Um, to get a card. Uh, I don't know if I like that one, but it's certain. What happens if I go, oops, missed a card? No, no, not like that. But if you pick a card, you get a card. I don't know. Uh, I could probably think of something better than that, but it's be certain. It'd be like picking from a bag and saying, what's for certain? Getting a marble. That kind of thing. That'll get you going. I think you're good to go now.